Okay, wait a minute. Let me spray something. A basic. I move on. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much, and welcome back, besties. Today, you read the title of the video correctly. We are talking about basic fragrances, and I have 10 to be exact. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous duale. And so if that sounds like something that you'd be into or want to become a part of, stop what you're doing, drop me right now today your scent of the day because you know I love to know what you're rocking. And if this seems like your vibe or your zhuzh, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. But don't stop there. If you really wanna become a bestie, come over and say hi on Instagram. And without further ado we are jumping into this video right now Guys, hello besties in today's video I was sitting down and I'm doing my wardrobe over if you've been watching the vlog back or something I was telling you that I'm trying to change my style not really change it just um I don't know so I was going through my closet and I was like okay so let's start with some basics right so I was going through and I'm like okay tank tops are all in right now you know the uh skims body dupes those ones from Amazon you guys they hit okay they hit I ordered one the other day I was like oh, I had no idea so yeah they hit I'm gonna link it and then I was looking at shoes and I was like okay you need these basics you need these accessories you need these as basics basics and I'm like why is it okay and it's not frowned upon when we say we have to have certain basics in our collection when it comes to clothing or when it comes to fashion or when it comes to, you know, coats or anything like that. It's like you're going out for the evening. You don't need an elaborate coat of faux fur, a fur, a mink, whatever you choose, a leather, whatever. You just need like a basic jacket. That's okay to say and nobody frowns upon a basic jacket. Here's, there's a time and place. Um, same with handbag. Let's take a handbag. You guys, I'm going somewhere. I gotta make my point. You already know how she does. Here's my handbag. I I love this handbag. I travel with it. Now this has a double meaning. I consider this to be a basic bag. In my life it plays, can you see it? In my life it plays as a basic bag. I travel with this. I take it with me when I'm running errands and I gotta put my water bottle in here. If I'm vlogging, my camera in here. It's a basic bag. It gets the job done. It gets me from A to B. I don't have to fuss. I don't have to worry. It's just a bag. I'm not babysitting it. You know my bags never go on the floor though. Uh, she still rides shotgun. But I'm just saying, I don't have to worry about this bag. It's, it's basic and it fits the bill and it's so durable. Now, some people would say, oh my God, it's a basic bag because everybody has one. Well, everybody just has great taste and maybe they have the same purpose for it that I do. I don't really care what other people have. You already know how I feel about that. Um, So this I would consider a basic bag, right? Because it's just gonna get me from A to B. I'm gonna put it on my shoulder, be about my way. This bag, it's not a basic bag. When I'm traveling, this doesn't hold anything. I'm not taking this with me. When I'm going out to run errands, I'm not taking this with me. Now, if I'm going out on date night and I wanna make like a statement, it's like a statement bag, it's an iconic bag, it's uh, a very luxurious bag, it's gonna get some attention kind of a bag, it's a conversation starter bag. Um, it's a unique bag. It's different. It's different from the other bag that I just showed you. Not being basic doesn't mean that they both didn't cost a good pretty penny. Doesn't mean that they're both not special. Doesn't mean that they are both not luxury, but they are two different bags that serve two different purposes. Hold that thought. Here's my second part. Now, when I was doing my wardrobe, okay, I go, okay, you're gonna need some basics. So here's a tank top that I brought out, you guys. Just a cute black tank. I don't even know where I got this from, but this is just a cute black tank that I can wear under a blazer. I can wear it with some shorts. I can wear it with some jeans. I can dress it up. I can dress it down. This is a staple in my collection. It is just a black tank. I can wear it alone. As I stated, I can dress it up. I didn't want just black because you know how I am. I love white. So here's a white one a different type a different style a different material but it is a white a white tank top and it is a basic right so when we come to clothing i had to make the, the point you guys and we come to fashion we come to bags jewelry shoes anything like that it's a basic sometimes you're going somewhere you go oh this necklace is doing too much i'm gonna take this necklace off and put on something just basic you know not doing too much just to have on a piece of jewelry same with our earrings we're going out it's like um What's something we get all dressed up for? New Year's Eve, you normally put on dangles, sparkling, all that type of stuff. That's not your typical stuff that you're gonna wear every single day. But when you are going out, when you are making a statement, when you wanna be seen, when you wanna be heard, when you wanna be smelled, before you arrive, darling, 
you do those type of things, right? So today I'm gonna share with you when building your collection, I think it's good to have some basic fragrances in your collection because they're no hassle, they're no fuss. I don't have to think a lot. I don't have to wonder if it's how it's gonna make me feel. It's good, if it's the bill, I know what it's gonna do. It's durable, it's reliable, I'm putting this on. That's what these are today, 10 basic fragrances. Black Opium, I'm gonna start with the basic of the basic, okay? This is Black Opium, adding this and having this in your collection for me is key. This is a coffee vanilla fragrance, it's good for day or night, it fits the bill, it could be good for a signature scent, a all around the world scent, a year round scent, it could be good for a date night, it could be good for an evening date, it could be good for brunch. This is just a basic that I have in my collection. I sleep in this, I'll wear this to run errands, I'll wear this some days if I. I just don't even want to think about it. And I'm like, mm, we're going out? Okay, wait a minute. Let me spray something. A basic. I move on. Soleil Nage. I consider this by Tom Ford to be a basic. It's newer in my collection. It's a beautiful fragrance. Um, It's got some carrot seed. It's nice. It's fresh. It's clean. It's not going to do too much if I was going to the Whole Foods, running errands. If I even had on a cute, let's say, blazer and maybe a good pair of jeans and maybe some wedges or something like that, a cute bag, and I just wanted to not overdo it, but I wanted to be smelt, I want my presence to be felt, I would reach for something like this. This isn't over the top. It's not going to hit you in the door. It's not going to get there before you do. It is a basic fragrance in my collection. Not meaning basic as in, oh, that's just basic. It's all in how you say it and how you look at things. It's a basic in my staple of collection when it comes to my fragrances. Another one would be Dolce & Gabbana. This is light blue. This is actually like a classic. So this is like equivalent to having, um, what would you say? Like, um, like a trench coat or something, you know, for those that live in cold, cold weather. It's like certain things when you live where you live, it's a staple in your collection. The puffer jackets when you live where it's really cold. Um, when I lived in Chicago, it was a staple to keep one of those things that you, I don't know, you guys, you know, I don't know the name of it. Okay. But you know, that stuff where you, the snow is on your windshield. When you got out some days, I would get off work. I would go to my car. The snow would be there. I would have to go in my trunk, get it out. And I would have to get all the snow off of my windshield and then put the defrost on. It was a basic. It was something that I kept in my car all the time, especially when I knew we were in that type of weather. That's what this is. When it comes to summer fragrances, summer weather, hot weather, any, this is a basic. This is a basic in my collection. It's bamboo, it's green apple, it's a beautiful fragrance, it's fresh, it's clean, it reminds me of being at the beach. It's a classic staple in my summer fragrance collection. A basic, I move on. Gabrielle Chanel is another basic. It's a beautiful white floral fragrance. I will say for me, and everybody is different, fragrances are subjective. It doesn't give the best longevity. But when I'm going out, I met one day up with my cousins. We were just gonna go do some light shopping, grab a bite to eat. I knew what this fragrance was already going to present itself as. I grabbed it. I didn't wanna do too much. My hair wasn't really done. I had like a cap on or a hat of some sort. I had a cute little t-shirt on and some type of, I don't even know, maybe jeggings. Like, I don't know what I had on you guys, to be honest with you. I don't know. I just know that the t-shirt was cute. Anyways, I mean, it fit cute. But that's what I had on. I had a cute bag, like a crossbody. A crossbody to me, some crossbodies are basic bags because they're easy. I don't have to fuss. I don't have to think. My hands are free. They're perfect for shopping, amusement parks. Do you get where I'm going there? So everything is not created equally. Now, this is also my opinion of what I consider basic fragrances to be in my collection. I love to hear from you. You can also help someone else in the comment section. Why don't you take a quick 2.5? Jot down one basic fragrance that you would consider to be a basic fragrance that you have in your collection. Gabrielle Chanel, basic. I move on. And that's Chanel Jewelry. This one to me is another basic fragrance to a beautiful white floral, perfect signature scent, easy reach. You can wear it to work. You can wear it to church. You can wear it shopping. You can wear it with the girls. You can wear it to a business meeting. You can wear it to go surf and do your emails or do your editing at the Starbucks or what have you. You're going to smell fresh, clean, inviting, a little rich, a little luxe. You know what I mean? But it's not doing too much. It's not going to disturb the peace. This is Jean Dior by Dior Dwelling. So there's nothing basic. If you get what I'm saying, this is Dior, this is Chanel, this is, um, Tom Ford. All of these fragrances that I'm sharing with you, there's no way that they're basic, but they're a basic, easy reach, just like your basic bags. You know what I mean? Your everyday bag. 
I move on. <laughs> that is so much fun. You guys know I love bringing things to life and I'm sticking with these themed videos. They are so fun. If you have a video that you want me to do, don't leave it down there because sometimes the comments get lost in the sauce. Come over and leave it on Instagram. Make sure you say hello, slide in the DM. How you doing, gra? How you doing, guy? Okay, anyways, back to the fragrance. Kayali Vanilla 28 is another basic fragrance. Do I absolutely love this fragrance? Is it phenomenal? Is it awesome? Is it just sexy? Is it good, good? Is it date night? I fell in love with this fragrance and my bottle is so dark, so the juice is so rich and so strong and so just like, oh God, it's good. My guy fell in love with this and he was like, mm, I'm gonna need you to get a full bottle. Keitra introduced me to Kayali. You guys, I had no idea what Kayali was until she sent me like 150 11 samples. But anyways, yeah, so this I consider a basic in my collection. Now here's how this basic differs. This is a basic in my collection, but it serves as so many, a dual purpose, let me say. I can wear this on its own, but this is so good to mix with so many other fragrances. So you know how sometimes you'll go out and you'll go, oh, I'm gonna get a basic uh, classic black blazer. And I would be the type of gal that would want the gold buttons to be on it because you know I love gold, right? Or a white one for the spring and the summer. I would still want the classic white golds. And you guys, I know everybody keeps telling me, Sheree, we all wear in silver now, I don't care. I'm still gonna wear, gold. I like gold. Silver doesn't give me what gold gives me, so I'm sticking with gold. Okay, but thank you for that. So anyways, a classic black blazer with gold button downs. You can mix with anything. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear it with a tank top, you can wear it on its own, with a cute little bralette or something still classy, never trashy. But I'm just saying, you can do it with jeans, you can do it with a skirt, you can do it with a dress, you can do it, so many ways you can do it. That's what I feel about this fragrance being a basic in my collection. It could be worn with Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And it's so over good. It could be worn with Babe Delicio by Dior, the private blend. It's so good. It could be worn with Patchouli um, 60, you guys, I could be making it up. What is it? Patch Royale Patchouli. It could be worn with, worn with that one. And it's so good. It brings life to fragrances. It sweetens up fragrances. It makes some fragrances take on a different sexy, sensual type of vibe. It is a basic that can work many different ways. And it is a luxurious basic that I would love to have in my collection. That's why it's in my collection. But I still consider this to be a basic. I can put it on and sleep in it for goodness sake and be like, oh my God, I smell so ever sexy going to bed. A basic, I move on. WW84 by the House of Siage. This is a beautiful, rich, creamy vanilla fragrance. And it is so inviting and so adaptable, if you allow me to use that word, but at the same time, all so beautiful, right? And it's absolutely gorgeous, but it's a basic. I, another one that I can mix with many different fragrances in my collection. I can mix with many different fragrances from the House of Siage. This pairs so well with Siobhan, Siobhan, cream, sweet cream, Siobhan cream. Girl, the yellow one that came out, I'll post a picture. It pairs so well with that. It is just like so rich, so decadent, so inviting, but it is a beautiful vanilla, different from this vanilla, basic in my collection, and I love it. Would I repurchase all of these again? Absolutely, because these are basic fragrances that I need to have as staples in my fragrance collection. I move on. Another one. A beautiful, clean, not the longest when it comes to longevity on me, but I knew what it was when I signed up. You spray heavy, spray your clothes. You can get a moderate longevity out of this. This is by Jo Malone. This is Wood Sage and Sea Salt, another fragrance that I would consider to be a beautiful aquatic fragrance that is absolutely gorgeous, but at the same time, it is a basic. Seven Virtues, this is Lotus Pear. This is a beautiful fragrance. Anytime, anywhere, easy reach, clean. For those of you that are looking for clean fragrances, this is a way to go. It smells like a white floral with pears, fruity. It's a beautiful fragrance. But at the same time, I consider it to be a basic, but it's so good. It's so good, it's so good. It's perfect for spring, perfect for summer. Another basic, beautiful fragrance, very versatile, can be dressed up or down, can be worn day or night, can be a signature scent, a date scent, a going out scent, a brunch scent, with all the festivals and concerts and you know uh, backyard barbecues and cookouts and everything that we got going on, it would be a beautiful scent for any of those occasions. 
It's a basic in my collection and that is gentle fluidy gold. Why would you say that? I don't get the same that I get from Baccarat Rouge. When I'm wearing Baccarat Rouge sometimes, it's not like I'm waiting for a special occasion, but it's gotta fit the mode of what I'm doing, how I'm feeling, what I'm rocking. I've gotta wanna beat that girl at that moment. You know what I mean? I'm giving a little something different when I wear Baccarat. It is what it is. I show up as a different girl. I just do, it hits me that way. This fragrance here, I don't get that. I can put it on without even hesitating to think about it. I'm like, oh, gentle fluidy go. Say less. I know what it's gonna do. It's gonna get the job done. No matter where I go, I'm gonna smell nice. I'm not gonna be too in your face. I'm definitely gonna receive some compliments because it is a beautiful fragrance. It's vanilla, it's coriander, I believe it's nutmeg. It is a beautiful, very well blended fragrance and you cannot go wrong with. But in my collection, it's a basic fragrance. It's something that I would reach for. It's like my never full. I'm gonna take it out. It's gonna get the job done. I'm still gonna be in style. It's still gonna be luxury. It's still gonna make me feel that, like that girl. You know what I mean? It's still gonna give me that same feel. It's gonna make me feel like that girl. It's luxe, but at the same time, it is a beautiful basic in my fragrance collection. I move on. And that is it for this video, you guys. I just wanted to pop on and you know, I, you know how I get. I have a thought about something. I start thinking about stuff and I'm always thinking about something relating it back to fragrance. And I was just like, how is it okay for us to have basic bags, basic staples in our collection when it comes to fashion or jewelry or handbags or shoes? but we can't have basics in our collection without it being a negative connotation when it comes to a fragrance. These are a few basic fragrances in my collection that are absolutely gorgeous. Like I stated, I wanna hear from you. Leave down in the comments section below some of your fragrances or one of your fragrances that you would consider to be a basic fragrance. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them down in the comments section below and I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Until next time, besties, you know the drill, be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, dwellings. Thanks for watching. Bye.